Uh, Mark, we came close last year, got into the playoffs, fell short. You go one better? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we've had a quality, quality off season, really preparing for the 2020 season. Uh, fell a bit short last year. I don't think we're as quite as close to as what like St. Helens and and those guys. And obviously, Salford finished really strong. Um, so now we've got we've got plenty to work on. We know we have plenty to build on, uh, but I think we've recruited really well. We brought in some absolutely quality players, uh, and the off season has been great. So I think we're looking pretty strong for for this season. See, last year you had injuries before you even got started. You've kind of avoided that this year. Do you think going into it as, as close to full strength as you can be, make a real good start? Uh, we've got a few niggles and things like that. Um, I think it's going to be a couple of weeks of the season when you start seeing. Our kind of most of our players been available and things like that. You can always pick up a few knocks in your trial games. Training's been pretty tough, so there's a few niggles in there. But kind of our long-term injuries from last year are all starting to come back as well. So I think by the time we're a few weeks into the season, we'll be looking pretty strong here from from a squad point of view. And that's a massive thing to contend in. I think. I think Salford were pretty healthy going through the season. I think that's why they kind of finished strong, get the combinations together. Obviously, St. Helens seem to be very good at keeping their players fresh and, and playing well so uh, there, there's lessons to be learned from from us but um, now hopefully fingers crossed now we, we're on a, a f kind of fresh and an injury free season I was talking about your, your new young halfback partnership how dangerous can that back line be with those two calling shots oh they're sensational uh, both Danny Richardson and, and Jake Truman both young English halfbacks who know the game really well quality high skill level uh, learning to growing as people as well, which is important to that role. Growing to mini leaders themselves, and you probably someone like Paul McShane in at dummy half, quality, experienced player, knows the game inside and out. Uh, just helping them grow, like to myself, Jordan Rankin, experienced outside backs feeding into them as well. Hopefully, with that kind of experience and that kind of youth, and, and how dynamic they are, and how smart they are, good kicking games, both runners of the ball. Um, no, add a different dimension to our game. How important is that balance between youth and experience? Oh, very, very. You need that kind of that experience is vital out there um, in big games, heat of the moment when things are getting away from you. Just having that bit of composure, that clarity to get you back on track is massive. But then you need them, them young guys. There's no fear in those guys. They just want to play. So I think that's important as well. They'll come up with some big plays at times. And, and uh, now I'm excited to see how, how far our young players can grow this season and what they can, what they can produce. I mean, you've, you've kind of established yourselves as, as playoff regulars in the last few years. What's the added, what, what extra do you need to, to be lifting that at the end of the year? Um, oh, well, that's it. We're, we're a very consistent team within that. We, we can compete and, and get to those big games, but I think we have to change in those kind of, when it gets to the back end of the year, uh, in those really important games, we, someone has to change with us, um, and that's our, our pre-season has been based around that. Um, so yeah, there's a few things that have to change. It's it's probably a bit of a, a mindset. Is how you go into those, how you approach those big games. You to, I think you have to be obviously have your intensity up there and, and be willing to play for the full 80 minutes. Uh, a bit, a kind of patient brand of rugby, because when you play against the really good teams or in forming them big games. They're a bit harder to break down, as I say sometimes, like a regular Super League game. You have to be patient, find scores off kicks, things like that, and defend some really smart plays they're throwing at you. So um, it's staying out. And don't let the moment overawe you, I don't think. It's not too big occasion. We've had plenty of experience now in big games, so uh, hopefully it's that year now where we, we kind of sort that kind of out for ourselves and we take advantage of the big games when we get in them.